Well, the world is always changed when new ideas come, new perceptions come, and they're accepted by a uh, majority of like-minded people, and those people collectively take action, and then the world starts changing. Well, in my perception at the moment, we're, we're a grouping of various stakeholders coming from various cross-sections of society. We come with different perceptions, different needs, different agendas, and as a collective, everyone wants the internet to be sustainable. Everyone wants the, everyone wants the internet to be productive. But the level of outcome from the internet is different at every stakeholder level. The governments want to regulate it. The private sector want to make more money, squeeze the consumer, get as money as a, much as they can through having as much freedom to to control. Uh, the customer, like network neutrality violations, which we consider the violation in the sense of it's not an international treaty, but a violation in the sense of general perception of the network. That you know, an open network has been confined, say in India, um, uh, companies are providing, say, access to Facebook for a dollar a month, but the rest of the internet services are being charged at a higher rate, right? And some some companies are bundling some of the applications like Google, Flickr, Facebook, Wikipedia, so forth and giving them for a dollar or so and charging more for the internet. So that's like, you know, closing down the network and uh, disbalancing how the network actually provides the, uh, access and open information. So, and when we come to the user, the basic perception I told you is I conducted a workshop earlier and uh, my participants all shared this concern that why are we being dealt as consumers? We're individual users, we're human beings, we're people. We should be dealt as a person. And as a person, we have rights. But those rights are different in every region because sometimes you have constitutional rights, some, somewhere they accept human rights, the Universal Human Rights Declaration, somewhere there are different ways to uh, accept that. For example, in my country, uh, my basic human rights, uh, my constitution provides me human rights with the provision that I will be regulated and I will be given permission for certain things and I won't be given permission for certain things. See? So that's really important as well. So these three segments bring their own set of agendas and problems and issues to find synergies between them, right, is one to keep the internet going. To find another synergy between them is that yes, the individual will always be the consumer, the individual will always be the one who's regulated most of the time. And there are rights. There may be different understanding of the rights, right? but there are rights. Network neutrality, yes. I think, and I still stand on this, I've been standing on this for the past like a decade, that as long as the internet stays open, and as long as there are discussions around keeping it open, and as long as there are proponents of uh, the open internet, I think that would be the major way forward for the IGF as well.